Welcome to the Somme Vigil podcast series, which tells the story of the Battle of the Somme in the words of those who were there. I'm Simon Bendry, Director for UCL Institute of Education's First World War Centenary Battlefield Tours programme. This series was commissioned by the Department for Digital, Culture, Media and Sport and developed in partnership with the First World War Centenary Battlefield Tours programme and Chrome Radio. It was first released to accompany the Somme 100 Vigil at Westminster Abbey, held through the night of the 30th of June and into the morning of the 1st of July 2016, to mark the centenary of the Battle of the Somme. In this podcast, a member of the Bavarian Infantry Regiment describes the new land ships in action. On the 15th of September 1916, at the Battle of Flair Corselet, the British Army used tanks, the new land ships, for the first time. Hermann Kohl was 17 when war broke out. He joined the Bavarian infantry near the Franco-German border, fighting at Ypres in 1915. He was wounded at the Somme, but survived the war, earning the Iron Cross, first and second class, for gallantry in action. After the war, he returned to the Rhineland, where in 1932 he wrote an account of his war experiences. He describes the new land ships in action. During the early hours of the 15th September, a forest of guns opened up in a ceaseless rolling thunder of fire throughout the Highwood, Flair, Martin Puig, Corselet sector. A sea of iron crashed down on all the front line and support positions in the area. The noise was terrible. Impact after impact. The whole of no man's land was a seething cauldron. The work of destruction grew and grew. Chaos. It was impossible to imagine that anyone could live through it. Square metre after square metre was ploughed up. The regimental witch's sabbath was upon it, as an unparalleled hurricane of fire blew over from the front. It was like a crushing machine, mechanical, without feelings, snuffing out the last resistance with a thousand hammers. It is totally inappropriate to play such a game with fellow men. We are all human beings made in the image of the Lord God. But what account does the devil take of mankind, or God, when he feels himself to be the Lord of elements, when chaos celebrates his omnipotence? From the direction of High Wood, we can hear a thousand voices and confused shouting, which persists until the few remaining survivors, wakened from mental confusion, find themselves shocked back into the reality of the moment and fight on, until the British flood overwhelms them, consumes them and passes on, wave upon wave. An extraordinary number of men, and there, between them, spewing death, unearthly monsters, the first British tanks. You have been listening to The Story of the Somme, a Chrome Radio production for the Department for Digital, Culture, Media and Sport, in partnership with UCL Institute of Education's First World War Centenary Battlefield Tours programme. The producer was Katrina Oliphant. In the next podcast, we hear from a member of the Heavy Machine Gun Corps, who was aboard Creme de Month in the first tank action.